hey guys welcome to a new video in today's video we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is sort colors so in this question we're given a nums array which contains n objects which is the size of the array each element denotes an object which is colored either red white or blue we need to sort the array in place such that each of the colors are appearing adjacent to each other in the following order red white and blue zero to represent red one to represent white and two to represent blue so let's take an example here these are the objects inside the nums array denoting colors we need to sort the array according to the following order zero should appear first then followed by ones and finally the two should appear together so this is the function given to us sort colors and the return type is void which means that you don't have to return anything you only have to sort the array in place so this is the nums array which contains the three different colors so let's take a look at these two examples and see how the problem can be solved and later go through the code let's take a look at the example two first because it is a shorter example and then we'll take a look at example one so this is the array given to us there are three elements present inside this array we need three pointers first declare a pointer i'll name it zero pointer by denoting it with z it will be pointing at the starting index and we need a index pointer i which will access each element and so we need another pointer pointing at the end of the array i'll name it two pointer it will be pointing at the end of the array so z pointer is for denoting where we need to insert zeros two pointer is for where we need to insert twos once we insert zeros and twos ones will be automatically inserted wherever there is leftover space so that is the main idea so this is the nums array and we need to iterate from left to right let's initialize the three pointers the z pointer will be starting at the beginning the i pointer will be starting at the beginning and the two pointer will be starting from the end now check what type of element is being stored at i pointer it is a two so we need to push this two to the last index where the t index position is pointing so swap these two elements so two will move to the end and zero will move to the beginning and we need to decrement the t pointer because t pointer will be pointing at the next place where 2 has to be inserted we already inserted 2 at the current t so decrement it to make place and point it at where the next 2 should be placed one point to notice that we shouldn't increment i whenever you're swapping 2 to the end because we also need to check what what has been swapped in 2's place so for example if we do i plus plus i will be pointing here for example here the swapped element was 1 so there is no way that we are going to process this element we can't change the position of that element once we move the i pointer to the next index position here clearly we can see that we get a wrong answer because one is pointing at the beginning and i has already crossed that pointer so we can't change the position of that element so always whenever you're swapping anything at the t's pointer's place you don't increment i i will remain the same and continue the check let's go back to the original example so again we have to check what the element at i th index position is it is a zero move zero where z is pointing z is pointing there so it will be swapped with the same element so zero will be inserted again at the same place now we have to increment i and also increment z because z denotes the point where the next zero should be placed zero has already been placed at the current z move zero also to the next place now again check your element at i is zero so swap it at where z is pointing there won't be any change in place of zero zero will be again swapped with the same place now we can move further i and z are pointing at the same place now check what is the element pointing at i it is 2 so we need to swap it with the element pointing at t pointer 2 will be placed here and 1 will be placed here and now we need to decrement the t pointer to point at the place where the new be inserted if there is a 2 and note that we are not incrementing i pointer because as i said if we increment i pointer again here we are missing this processing i will remain at the same place so the element at i th index position is a 1 whenever you see 1 you don't have to process anything you just increment the i pointer so i is pointing here again you notice a 1 so you simply increment the i pointer now the value of i is equal to 4 value of t is equal to 3 so i should be always less than t 
but here in this case 4 is greater than 3 so this condition fails so we can end our processing and this current array will be returned as the output you can see there is a match 001122 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2 is our output. So let's take a look at the code. The return type of this function is void. So you don't have to return anything. We just have to sort the input array given to us. So the input array is nums. So here I'm declaring the three pointers. The zero pointer. The two pointer. And the normal index. Which is used to access the element at index position. So until i is less than or equal to the two pointer. You process it once they cross if it's a zero then you swap i've written a private function which swaps two numbers num1 and num2 using a temporary variable so this is a swapping helper function so i'm calling this helper function which will swap two elements inside an array so if it is a zero Swap so the two elements, increment the i pointer and increment the z pointer. So here, else if block, if it is a 2, if nums is equal to 2, then swap and only decrement the 2 pointer. Don't do i++ because I already mentioned the reason. And in the else block, which means if it is a 1, then only increment i. And finally, you don't have to return anything because the return type is void. This while loop will sort all the elements and give us the final answer inside nums itself. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n. And the space complexity is O of 1 because we are not using any extra space. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.